Bye. Morning, friends. It has been so long since I've vlogged, and I have desperately missed picking up the camera, but I have been so busy, and then we have been caught with a little bit of a spring cold, and life has just caught up with me, and I just haven't had the time to pick up the camera, but today and probably tomorrow i'm gonna vlog and i'm so excited today's actually the solar eclipse we're not on the direct path but i mean it's kind of gonna be cool to see i think if you can like see anything and then today we have a lot of errands to run i need to go to aldi do a little bit of grocery shopping i need to stop by the dollar store and see if they have a few things i need for Can this little do-it-yourself project i'm doing more? I've got baby girl with me all day today, and so, yeah, first, obviously, the gym. We always go to the gym first, and then we're going to run all our errands and see where this vlog takes us, but I've missed you. I love you. Thank you so much for being here, and let's get going. We are back home. I am so bummed. I completely forgot about going to the dollar store. So I'm gonna just do that tomorrow because now that we're home, I'm just not going back out again. And we got these at Aldi. So I thought I would do a little taste test because I have never had these before, but these are protein puffs. This is the nacho cheese flavor and this is the jalapeno cheddar. I thought they sounded really interesting. Only two grams of sugar per bag, four grams of carbs per bag, 42 grams of protein per bag. So, it's soy free, potato free, nut free. I don't know, let's give it a try. I don't have any dietary restrictions. I try to be like higher protein, but these look like a fun snack. Oh, they're tiny. Look at this. I thought they were gonna be bigger for some reason, but. Mm. They're a little spicy. The jalapeno ones are a little spicy. Mmm. I sh probably should have tried the other ones first. These are pretty good. They kind of taste like a crunchier, like, Cheeto type thing. Like a Cheeto puff that's a little crunchier. They're pretty good. I'll definitely eat them. Would I buy them again? I don't know. My gosh, that one's a little spicy. I like spicy, so let's try the regular nacho cheese. I don't know if I'm giving these ones a fair evaluation since I just tried the spicy ones and my taste buds are pretty like on fire. These are good. These are good. I like the jalapeno ones better, but these are good. Yeah, I would definitely eat these. But I don't know if I'll buy them again. They're not that good. Like, they're missing something for me. But, if you're looking for a high protein snack, this might be for you. It might be for you. I feel like these ones should be like put in something. I don't know what. But like, I don't know, it's missing something. Anyways, I would probably give these like a six out of 10. Like, they're pretty good. If you need a protein snack, I guess grab these if they're all you can find. But are they my favorite? No, definitely not my favorite thing I've ever tried. So, I don't know. Sometimes I think savory protein items, like snack-wise, are weird. 
I'm more of like a protein bar or protein shake or something like that or just like, you know, good old standard chicken to get my protein. So anyways, rambling for no reason. I need to fix up my hair. It's kind of wild right now. I didn't curl it, which is unusual for me after I blow dry my hair. Um, and I don't think I'm gonna curl it. I think I'm gonna do kind of like a blown out look with this new hair tool I got. So I'll show you guys that. And I feel like I have to take you guys on a tour of my house because we haven't vlogged in so long and I've redone Martin's room. Um, my son turned six and he is like a full grown child and he wanted a SpongeBob SquarePants room so I redid his room. And now I'm getting in stuff to redo Aubrey Ryan's room because baby girl, monkey see, monkey do, he got his room redone, so now she wants her room redone, which it's time. She's over three years old and still in a crib, but she doesn't try to climb out, so I was like not pushing it. But she wants a Minnie Mouse and Daisy Duck themed room. So if I'm gonna redo her room, we're gonna do the whole big girl bed and everything. I got her bed frame in. I'm still waiting on her mattress. And I've started making like vinyl things on my Cricut for her wall. And then I'm gonna attempt to use my projector to paint Minnie and Daisy on her wall. So this might be a little bit crazy and everything. So anyways, rambling again, rambling. Let's go do my hair. So this is the thermal round brush I was talking about. It heats up really fast and it can go up to 410 degrees. I am not gonna do it that. Hi, I'm gonna do like 355 but I love this thing it gives you like a blown out look without blowing out your hair I actually can give myself a really good blowout with the blow dryer but when I go to the gym it tends to get messed up so that's why I like to have this just to kind of go over my hair when I don't curl it and then just give the ends like a little shape like that I think it looks so much better when your hair is like a little bit more polished and has a little shape to it, like a little intentional shape because my hair is naturally pretty frizzy and I just don't like that. So I always smooth it out with some sort of hot tool, but don't forget to use your heat protectant before. Like any kind of heat protectant is better than no heat protectant. But let me curl my hair and then I'll show you guys after what it looks like. My hair is done. You see it just kind of gives it a little bit more shape and like gives like that fresh blowout look. And it's really fast to do. That probably took me like maybe seven, eight minutes. But it's really easy after the gym just to smooth my hair out and give it like a fresh look. I love this tool because it's so quick and so easy and I kind of like doing this sometimes more than the BG Wave curls. I just feel like it's a little more in right now and I don't know, I just like it. So if I can, I'll link that thing down below. I got it off TikTok shop but I'm sure they have it on Amazon so I can try to link it. Otherwise, I share a ton of my favorite stuff on TikTok. So if you're not following me on TikTok, that's where I've been while I've been MIA on YouTube is over on TikTok. So hopefully it doesn't get banned because I am loving TikTok. Anyways, I could ramble on about that forever, but I need to get baby girl down for her nap and then I'll give you guys a tour of the house. I came to see the solar eclipse, but it's so cloudy that like you can't even see the sun. So... It was dark for a while, but now I think it's past. I saw it for like a split second, like the clouds parted for like a little bit and I saw it. And I know you're not supposed to like look at it, so I looked away and then it was just gone. And you know, I mean, there was one in 2017 and I can't even remember if I saw that one or not. But it was kind of cool, kind of neat to see. And hopefully we get to see another one. I put on a little bit of makeup because I got a few new products in from Tarte that I was dying to try. And I will report back that this mascara is my new favorite ever. It's like the Tartlet tubing mascara. So good. Like, focus. This mascara is so good. Obviously, ignore that. But I love the way this went on. And then also... um the viral maracuja plumping so good so good what is it technically called 
Maracuja Juicy Lip Plump. So good. Like, look at that. Mine is in the color Peachy Beige. Love this. Probably going to get it in a couple more colors. Obsessed. But let me show you my son's room because it's so stinking cute. It's probably a mess in there right now, but it turned out good. Okay, yes, the room is a mess, but look at his wall. It looks so good. We got him a bunk bed. We got this rug. We got him some blackout curtains. Over here, he's got his jellyfish. And then his air purifier, of course. And then this thing is so cool. Watch. You turn it on. And then let me close the curtains. And then look at these stars. He wanted me to stick stars all over the ceiling. And then when I saw this, I was like, this is better because it kind of looks like the ocean on the wall there. And there's stars that like come and go. So it was like a win-win. I think it looks so cool. And it's actually really relaxing when you lay in here at night. So that's his room, and then I'm starting on baby girl's room, but then this tree is what I was going to do the do-it-yourself project with from the dollar store that I didn't get around to, so I'll do that tomorrow. But let me show you guys this tree because it's so cute, and I don't know why, but I've wanted like a fake olive tree for like years now, and I finally have one. Okay, first of all, it is so cute. I love it. But what I'm going to do is I got this pot at Aldi and what I want to do is I want to get some stuff to like fill it so that this can be up higher like that. And then I want to put like fake moss on top so it looks like it's an actual plant in a pot. And I think that will look really, really, really cute. Over here is kind of a hot mess, but these are the flowers I'm going to be putting on baby girl's wall. And then I'm also going to make some purple ones and some like greenish ones. And I'm using my Cricut to do that. So that's really easy and fun. But then the hard part is I'm going to be painting Minnie and Daisy on her wall. So I've got all these paints and it came with paint brushes. So hopefully I can do that because I don't know. I don't know. I think that's going to be a tricky one. I might be biting off more than I can chew, but I'm going to try and do it. She wants Minnie and Daisy, and making them with my Cricut seems really, really hard. So I think painting it might be easier. I'm not sure. We'll see. We'll see. But I'm going to attempt to do it. It is the next day, and it is rainy and gloomy and yucky out. But I dropped the kids off at school, I went to the gym, and now all I really want to do is go home and like snuggle up and watch a movie on the couch, but we can't do that today. I'm going to go to the dollar store, hopefully they have everything we need, otherwise I'm just going to have to order things on Amazon or go to Michael's, but hopefully they have everything. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't have it for that little project with the tree that I want to do. And then I have a few videos to make for TikTok. I've been selling so many things on TikTok shop. Let me just say this. I have been on YouTube for six years. On average, I make about, I don't know, between 60 and $100 a month on YouTube. That's it. Nothing more. I very rarely get brand deals. I sometimes get things sent to me for free, but not paid brand deals. Like I think I've had a, maybe like a handful of paid brand deals in my whole six years. Instagram, that's just like a whole nother story. I don't really like Instagram that much, but like I'm there and I show up. And when they had the reels bonus, I liked it. I didn't make much, but I liked it because at least like you had the potential of monetizing your platform. Now it's like only brand deals. And like I said, I never really get them. I don't seek them out either. And then TikTok shop came along and I genuinely love all of the products I've received. I've gotten so many products and you guys, I've actually made money like a few thousand dollars a month consistently for the past three months. And now TikTok's going to be banned. What? Just my luck, okay, right? Just my luck. Like, the whole goal on here isn't really, like, to make money. 
but it also is because this is like a hobby that could potentially become a full-time job like I love making videos I love editing them I love the whole process I love getting products testing them out giving honest feedback on them love it and there's been a lot of items well not a lot a few items that I've received and been like mm, this is just not it this is not good and I've sent them back like I'm not gonna show you guys something unless I'm using it and I like it and right now my home is just full of TikTok shop items we have upgraded so many parts of our house we have just like gotten new chairs couches patio furniture things that we've wanted for years and years and years but didn't have the budget for TikTok shop has opened those doors for me and of course now it's gonna be banned but you know just my luck anyways that's just a little rant for me and if you're trying to make money on the internet maybe TikTok shop might be the spot because I don't know it somehow is doing it for me and it literally has changed our lives and I hope it doesn't go away or maybe another platform will adapt the TikTok shop like monetization because when that's gone, I'm gonna be so sad. But anyways, let me know if you guys have any questions. If you wanna get into TikTok shop, I'd be fine with like helping you out. I guess you could message me on Instagram. It's probably the easiest way to chat about this. Or you could email me. I'll put my email in the description. I'm more than happy to help anyone because this has literally changed my life. So anyways, let's go to the dollar store. Let's get this going. Let's try to enjoy this rainy, yucky day. I am home. Let me show you what I got from the dollar store. They had almost everything I needed. They just didn't have the like artificial moss. So I ordered it on Amazon and it should be here tomorrow. So I think I'm just gonna wrap the vlog up tomorrow once I can get this project done. But they had the foam like things that you need. And then what I'm thinking is I'm gonna stack these like this and then put this inside and then the tree on top of this to give it a little more height inside the pot. And then put the moss on top of that to kind of hide it. That's what I'm thinking. In my mind, I'm like, this is gonna work. Let's see if we can execute it. And then I also got this for my son. It is a take along subtraction. Um, I thought that this would be really good for him and it is Star Wars. He loves Star Wars. He has turned me into a Star Wars person, which is great because Star Wars is at Disney and I love Disney. So I literally just watched the movies for the first time within the past like year and a half. I got my daughter some crayons. She loves like pastels and pretty colors and I saw those so you know whatever got um some feminine products and some hairspray so that is what i got at the dollar store and then i'm just gonna finish this vlog tomorrow so i'll see you tomorrow bye guys friends my tree is set up this vlog was kind of like all over the place I went on rants we went shopping we just did a lot and I hope you guys enjoyed it I hope it was okay to follow along maybe I'm just like rusty at vlogging I don't know my goal is to get back into vlogging and vlog at least once a week and try and get back to my schedule where I had one to two videos per week up so I'm saying this here hold myself accountable you guys hold me accountable Call me out if I'm not fulfilling what I said I am because I hate when I say something and I don't do it. So I'm gonna promise you that I'm gonna have one to two videos up per week and that one of them is gonna be a vlog and then the other will probably be some sort of fashion haul and whatnot. Make sure you guys are following me on TikTok, Instagram, all over the place. I am also getting way more active over on my Amazon storefront. I've mentioned that before. So if you guys wanna see some of the things that I've been doing around my house and all that, 
a lot of it is on the other platforms. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for being here. I love you so much. I'll see you in the next one.